Hello, welcome back tonight, we are looking at Dogecoin once more. Thank you guys for all the love on last night's Dogecoin video. That, that video got so many views, it was insane. Let's hope that we can see something like that again tonight. But I think that today we are in a very interesting time for Dogecoin. Yesterday we asked the potential if Dogecoin could go back up very soon, and if we could see very big growth with Dogecoin. Right now I think this argument is becoming a bit more promising, and we do have the potential for Dogecoin to actually turn itself around and see big growth. Guys, of course, as you already know, I am not a financial advisor, but in this video I'm giving all of my thoughts and opinions on Dogecoin based on the price action that we have been seeing today, based on the movements that we have been seeing over the past few days, the social engagement for Dogecoin, and you know just what I think could happen in the next few days. So if this sounds like something that you may enjoy, if you do want to hear my opinions on whether this one can go back up very soon, make sure to give the video a like and smash the subscribe button because we talk about Dogecoin and many other cryptos and stocks on a daily basis. Whatever you want to hear about guys, we do talk about it. So if there are any suggestions suggestions that you do have for both cryptos and stocks, drop me them down in the comments. I will try and make a video on every single one which I do find appropriate. But yes, right now we are going to jump into Dogecoin. Let's start off by obviously looking at the price action over the past few days. For this, we are going to move out to the one day chart where we can see that Dogecoin has obviously seen a very, very large spike up in price most recently. So today we are seeing volume figures of about 17.45 billion, which is outstanding. That is rather insane. If we do have a quick look to yesterday, we can see that volume for that day as well. If it will allow us, was 28 billion. So again, stepping down since then, but that is not a bad thing. Prior to that, it was actually 30 billion. So we can see over the the past two days the volume for dogecoin has stepped down by a little bit and guys people are going to say that's bad I do not think it is. Let's face it, where we are right now, Dogecoin has taken a massive hike in price. It's already up at 30 cent. Yes, we hit highs of 40 cent and beyond, but you know what? 30 cent for now is good. I think we are in a very interesting time with the crypto market as a whole and with Dogecoin. Ultimately, I don't think this one is going to go much lower than 30 cent in my opinion. I think we do have potential to hit about 25 cent. If we look prior, we can see that was a bit of a support for Dogecoin. We dipped a bit lower than that down here and a bit higher than that up here but ultimately I think that we do have the potential to see lows at the 25 cent range and I don't think that is bad. We already know that with Dogecoin the upside is great and we could be seeing a lot going forwards to see Dogecoin really rocket. I think people yesterday did see Dogecoin as having its big day, people seen the, Do the, Do the Dogecoin price hit $1, perhaps even higher than that at $3 or $4 I have seen, but obviously that was not the case and you know what, that is not bad. I think what we need to remember about Dogecoin is that it has seen very big growth recently and there is potential for it to continue to do so but perhaps over a more stable and longer amount of time. Now another thing which I do want to move us over to is coin market cap. You may remember this one from previous videos that we have been doing on Dogecoin and other cryptos, but I think this is a really useful way to basically gauge how the whole crypto market has been doing as of recently. Because this gives us a listing or at least a quick look at some of our favorite cryptos and how they have been moving over the past 7 days. If we look out here we can see this is the top uh, 7 or 8 uh, cryptos by market cap. Number 1 is obviously Do uh, Bitcoin rather. Uh, second is Ethereum, then comes BNB, XRP, Cardano, ADA, uh, to name a few. But basically, starting off at the top, we can see Bitcoin. Bitcoin saw this rather steep sell-off in price, and again, people were concerned about this one, rightly so, but Bitcoin did take a massive rally, so it wasn't really too worrying in my eyes. From there, we have been quite stable, and it looks like the price has actually came back up from the lows that we have been seeing, only by a small amount, but it is still an increase, which is a really good thing. Let's move over to the price of Ethereum. Ethereum has seen a similar decline in price, pretty much the same actually, but obviously more recently it has pulled back even stronger. BNB is pulling back quite strong as well, which is good, and again this is up from the previous low that we, well, that we have seen in the 7 day period by a large amount, hitting highs for the last 7 days over the past day or two. XRP is still down but you know what XRP is doing its own thing at the moment and there are some reasons for that so that is absolutely fine I think it's okay that that is an outlier USDT is doing okay I do guess I think this chart is glitching a little bit or else this coin isn't doing too well Cardano isn't doing too bad, it is in a similar position to Bitcoin because Cardano has basically seen this very similar sell-off 
and then it has remained quite flat and is coming up ever so slightly. So what I'm trying to say here is that we are seeing Bitcoin come up ever so slightly. We've seen Ethereum come up by a large amount. Uh, obviously, Bit BNB is coming up by a decent amount as well. And Cardano isn't doing too bad down there as well. Even XRP is pulling itself back up. And this is good for me because I think it does show that Dogecoin does have potential to follow this whole crypto market trend over the past few days and see a bit of an increase in price in the next day or two. So I think it is potential that we could be seeing a bit of a reversal in the whole crypto market coming soon and we could see the prices continue to rally once more now people are thinking that the prices are going to rally like they did last week or so i don't think that is the case and i don't think that's a bad thing either now, especially with Dogecoin, the coin has seen a massive rally in price anyway, so I think it is okay that the coin is now taking a bit of a sell-off, especially in a time where a lot of other cryptos have seen a similar thing. So I think as the crypto market does recover from the sell-off that we have been seeing across the board, Dogecoin does have potential to jump up there, and once more with Dogecoin, with the amount of publicity on it now, there is more attention on Dogecoin, especially now more than ever basically. I think that once it does start to rally again, we could see a very, very strong run, taking the the price up to 50 cent and possibly beyond again that's just my personal opinion but i think we do have potential for that to happen so is dogecoin ever going to hit one dollar is it going to happen soon is it going to happen a long time away personally i do think that dogecoin is going to hit one dollar i think it's not a case of if but a case of when i think there is a lot of hype around this coin well i know there is a lot of hype around this coin if we go over to luna crush and have a quick look at some of the most popular cryptos over the past few days we can see that yesterday on the 20th i do believe uh, this coin actually did hit pretty much number one on the listing so that was pretty good i do believe that that is the most recent information that we do have coming from the site so even so it does show that interest in dogecoin over the past few days has been really hot obviously on the 20th dogecoin was getting more searches than bitcoin which is is a very big deal it's a very very big deal i think you know what going forwards we do have the potential to see dogecoin erupt once more obviously it's apparent that the, that the following behind dogecoin is massive and again once this one does start to rally up i think it will be by quite a large amount if this interest does keep up as i can see being the case so would i buy dogecoin now personally guys i would in my opinion i think it has potential to drop a bit further at the end of the day, nobody knows how far, how far down it is going to go. My opinion is that we could see lows around the 25 cent mark, but I don't think it matters because I think long term, if you're willing to hold for the next year or so, we could be seeing Dogecoin hit $1 and maybe even beyond that. So I think it is potential. I think it is something that we could see happen. But I think if you are waiting to see Dogecoin hit $1, I would definitely be more patient and wait to see it happen over the longer period of time. If you're happy to wait along that time, I think it will reward you massively if you're willing to invest in Dogecoin so I definitely would consider it a buy now. That's just my thoughts though, because Dogecoin is obviously a speculative play. I'm sure you are already aware of that, but I just thought I would remind you. So don't put in too much money, only put in what you are willing to lose in a worst case scenario. Make sure you are adequately informed about Dogecoin, do as much research as you possibly can, and all that kind of stuff if you're looking to buy. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye until the next episode. Goodbye.